So the 1.4 turbo petrol GDI DCT, DCT is basically the dual clutch automatic transmission. This one has a lot of options on how the uh, car will change the gears. The first and the best and the most used is uh, basically leave the car in the drive mode. This is the drive mode as mentioned over here. So in this drive mode, as you can see, uh, the transmission will go about changing the gears depending on the mode you are in if you are in the comfort mode right now it will be a best compromise of sportiness and economy of course you can change the modes from here uh, the drive modes of from uh, from here and uh, if i go into the eco mode uh, it will upshift early for fuel economy but in sport it will hold on to a gear for uh, better punch anyways uh, back to the modes uh, the first one as i told you is the drive mode if i just leave the car in drive it will go about changing the gears manually on its automatically on its own uh, this is what you need to keep an eye on uh, we are in the drive mode first gear neutral reverse parking so if i just go gently on the right pedal you can see the gears will start changing d2 d3 and so on so this is the first process or the first way of changing gears uh, in the uh, creta dct the second one is to, pardon me, the second one is to use the paddle shifters which are uh, behind the steering wheel. This is a sportier way of changing because when you're driving a car, if your hands are on the, uh, this position, in this position you can just, without taking your hands off, you can change the gears. This is downshift, you can see minus, and this is upshift. Now, while being in the D mode, that is uh, the drive mode D1 or in the sport mode S1, so if I flip the gear lever to the right side, it comes into the sport mode, S1. Uh, in this mode as well, I can use the paddle shifters. The paddle shifters can be used to override the way the gears uh, will change. I will explain the working. Let me go back to the D mode. Uh, the road is completely empty. Let me take a U-turn. So in this mode, as you can see, I'm driving. Automatically, we are in D2. And we are in d3 now if i take control i can press this to downshift here i go third second first so i can take manual charge by using the paddle shifters or i can use the right paddle shifter to upshift first gear second gear now you will ask me the question uh, can i go up to the seventh gear at a low speed no you can't do that you uh, there is uh, a safety override for example i can go to the third gear right now because i'm at 30 kmph but if I try going into the fourth gear, it will not go. See, I'm pressing it. It is still in the third gear over here. So that is a safety uh, precaution taken. Likewise, if I want to downshift into the first gear at a very high speed, I'm in second gear right now, over 40 kmph, it will not go. You can see I am using, I am trying to go down. It will not go. It will only go when it's safe to do so. So if I drop my speed to probably around 30, it might shift. Yeah it's finally gone but if i'm at a higher speed it will not go also uh, it will not over rev so if you are in a manual control with a, with a gear lever for example if i'm in the first gear if i go down hard i will not be uh, using the plus uh, paddle shift if i go down hard it will automatically shift into the second gear you see there second gear so that is again uh, a precaution to make sure that the the engine is not overloaded, the transmission is not overloaded. Again, I'm not going to use the paddle shifters. I'm in the first gear, I'll build up velocity. We'll start hitting the red zone and it upshifts. So yes, the gear lever, the transmission will not stick to a gear. It will not allow you to rev the hell out of the engine. It will upshift. Remember, uh, the paddle shifters, they can be used in any of the uh, drive modes, be it the comfort, which I was showing you right now, or the eco. It can be done in any of the drive modes. So this is the second way of changing gears in uh, the DCT Creta. The third option is to flick the gear lever to the right side. When I do this, you can see I'm in, in the sport mode right now. And uh, there are plus and minus signs. When I do so, the D1 shifts to S1 to tell you that you have taken, uh, you've gone into the sport mode. And in sport, again, I can leave this as it is. The gear shift will happen at a higher RPM or I can use this to go downshift, this to go up. So if I start doing this, you can see the S1 has gone into 
a manual uh, reading for the gear indicators just to show it again d1 i flick the gear lever s and if i go down it means i am in the manual control and again like the parallel shifters you can use this down or up to change between gears uh, you can't rev the hell out of the car so it will upshift and you can't go to a down uh, go to a lower gear when the rpm is too high you can't go into a higher gear uh, when the rpm is too low so those th those are safety precautions which are in the pedals or in this lever another question we have been asked is uh, how early can we upshift so i'll just go into the eco mode and uh, yeah eco mode i will be using the parallel shifters to just show you how quickly can we upshift d1 i take manual charge second gear third gear at 25 fourth gear under 40 fifth gear around 50 and the sixth gear will come in at approximately yes so sixth gear at 60 kmph sixth and uh, come on seventh yeah seventh at under 80 another inbuilt safety is that uh, if you have taken manual charge and if you slow down and you don't downshift i will not be using the parallel shifters i'll not downshift but automatically the transmission will come down so i'm in third gear i start braking and yeah into second so that is being done by the automatic transmission itself to ensure there is no lugging and uh, the engine gearbox uh, combination remains uh, remains okay uh, once again to show you this i will go into the fourth gear and i'll start braking you can see I, my hands are not on the parallel shifters. My hand is right here. I'll start braking and from fourth, it comes down to third into second by itself. So this is a safety procedure built in. Of course, if I go fast, it will upshift as well on its own. There you go. So fifth gear, sixth gear, I'm at uh, around 68. If I go down hard on the right pedal, this is what happens. Three gears down from sixth to third. So this is the benefit of a DCT dual clutch. The downshifts or upshifts are quick, they are smooth, they are seamless. So once again, we are in the fifth gear and if I go down hard on the right pedal, this is what happens. Three gears down and the pull is immense you can see the weight pulls and pulls and this is the comfort mode uh comfort drive not even in the sport drive mode right now so in the sport mode basically uh, the uh, gearbox will hold out uh, hold on to a higher rpm for that extra punch uh, for example if i just start gently with the right uh, foot being gentle even then it's holding up to a higher rpm before shifting uh, this is the number you should see in third gear right now fourth gear so even with a gentle tap you can see there's a huge huge difference in the way it moves and of course it's always ready for that extra punch from the motor if you want to go fast all you need to do is to play with the right foot of course in the eco mode uh, the gear shifts will happen keeping fuel economy in mind already in second gear this is the number you should look out for d2 d3 so i'm quite gentle on the right foot and the gearbox will work uh, ensuring that you get the maximum possible economy and finally this is the working uh, and finally the working in the comfort mode which is a mix of both uh, eco and sport again i'll be gentle with the right foot and you can see the gears uh, changing already in third gear this is the number you should look out for and i can take manual control as well by either using the paddle shifters like this you can see third gear second gear right over here or i can upshift also likewise i can uh, use the gear lever to flick between the sport and drive this is d3 and this is s2 